This is the eve of Holy Week, and it has to be said that this is going to be a Holy Week like none other, certainly not a Holy Week that I've ever experienced before. But nonetheless, Holy Week will continue, and it's important that we celebrate these last hours and days in our Lord's life with due devotion. This Palm Sunday, when our Lord rode into Jerusalem, he was triumphantly acclaimed, Hosanna to the son of David. And yet those same crowds were crying out a few days later, crucify him. We have to make sure that we are consistent in the way we follow our Lord this week, that we begin with him and we accompany him every step of the way. We often say that our Lord experienced great loss of support, great loss of friends, great isolation during those last hours and days of his life. And our own isolation this week will give us a sense of what our Lord must have felt during his passion. So it's an opportunity for us, a God-given opportunity, dare one say, to identify ourselves with our Lord in his suffering and passion. Let's try and keep the crucifix very central to our devotions this week. Let's listen on Palm Sunday to the reading of the Passion with great devotion, remembering as we hear those words of the Passion that Jesus suffered all of this. He went through all of this for love of me. And then to try and, try and draw some fruits from our Lord's Passion, some lessons, some virtues that we can get for ourselves. The most important one, of course, is the grace to carry our crosses with our Lord. And maybe at this time it's the cross of isolation, the cross of just being alone, the cross of feeling perhaps a little bit down at the moment. Let's think of our Lord on the way to Calvary. Ask him now for the grace to be with him and to arrive at the end of Holy Week with our lives renewed and changed. So God bless you as we begin this most holy of weeks, united in prayer together.